Hi there, it's Dan Wilson here, one of the editors at Tame Bay, and I'm doing one of our uh, weekly video roundups, looking at some of the big news in marketplaces that are affecting online merchants. Hope you had a great bank holiday weekend. Um, obviously, with the uh, very, very hot and lovely weather, um, there has been some chat that sales have been down. Uh, but then again, I suppose, considering it was such a, a lovely weekend, that's to be expected. Um, what have we, we got? Stacks and stacks of Amazon news. Um, one thing is a nifty little new feature they've got, which is um, using buyer feedback on clothing bought to see uh, whether the measurements and the descriptions are accurate. So if you buy a pair of 36-inch trousers, are they actually 36-inch waist, or are they a little bit bigger, smaller, a bit tight somewhere? So that way they can aggregate the ac accuracy of the seller's descriptions, which is, which is good. Um, in the States, Amazon have announced that they're putting up the price of Prime from $99 to $119, so a $20 raise, and there's been a survey out saying that 45% of Prime subscribers will uh, take this opportunity to unsubscribe. Now, we, we think that's somewhat unlikely, but you might disagree. Um, in the Amazon results, uh, obviously this is the season for quarterly results, eBay, PayPal, Amazon, everyone's uh, reported those. Um, but an interesting stat in the um, Amazon ones was there's 100 million small business sellers on Amazon globally, which we thought was quite remarkable. However, only 20,000 of them turn over more than a million dollars per year, which we thought was quite low. Um, but still, the million's remarkable. Um, Amazon has been beaten to the um, purchase of Flipkart. That's the Indian marketplace, which is going great guns. Uh, Walmart's clinched that deal, although they may have some difficulty closing it. Um, so we'll see what happens there. Um, thinking about Amazon, uh, it's eBay, rather. It does seem that it's, we think there's been quite a lot of glitches, but we find it very hard to pin down what exactly has been going wrong. So... We've put a post up there, sort of fishing for your insights if, you, if you've experienced any problems recently. Um, and uh, GameSeek seems to have been offline since last Friday, and we don't know what's going on there. So if anyone has any information about that, we'd be very grateful. Um, and yeah, um, we've also got, to ask for your help, we've got two surveys going, one for Currencies Direct, one for World First, both looking at uh, international trading, and we'd love you to take... Uh, few moments to, to fill in those surveys. There's some little prize giveaways going to the prize draw. Um, there's actually a reasonably um, reasonably good chance of winning those as well. So um, do take uh, check those surveys out and we'd love your input. Well anyway, thanks for watching. This has been uh, Tame Bay TV and I hope you have a great week.